What is up, Coreanics? Welcome to the brand new Fast and Furious movie build series. This, of course, is the other variant that I promised I would do, where I build popular Fast and Furious vehicles using cars in GTA Online. Now, I do want to clarify this is separate from the series where I do the movie slash TV show cars, so this will be in a separate playlist. As always, remember to let me know down below in the comments what Fast and Furious car you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next build video. So to kick off this series, I figured we would use the newly added Classic Broadway to build the 1950 Chevy Fleet Line from The Fate of the Furious, which is the eighth film. The car was of course used by Dom in the Cuba race at the beginning of the movie, now to mention, the Broadway is based on the 1946 Oldsmobile 66 Club sedan two-door, mixed with the 1946 Chevy Fleetline as well. So a bit of an older model compared to the one in the film, but the general proportions are the same, especially when we remove the front fenders. But anyways, let's go ahead and start the build for the 1950 Chevy Fleetline from The Fate of the Furious. All right, Chevy Fleetline, Fast and Furious 8 build. All right, so as usual for these builds, uh, all the movie builds and stuff like that, I always like to do, you know, max armor and performance mods. So we're going to continue that trend with the Fast and Furious series. So full armor, uh, body work. So the real car, obviously, um, once he did the actual race scene, he took off the front fenders, he took off the hood and some other panels. So the car will be lighter weight for the race. So, of course, we want to replicate that. As closest as we can so you're gonna choose the option called oh my hot rod so it's gonna be that one right there and it removes the the front fenders even this piece by the door um, which very very cool and it also removes the grill um, the headlights I mean a lot of it is just gone so <laughs> perfect that's exactly what we want there um, we're gonna max out the brakes bumpers you want to choose the bumper remove option Rear bumpers. Now, the real car did have the rear bumper removed. Um, however, there's no option for that here, as you can see. So I think your best option is to just go with a clean, um, or the cleanest bumper look possible. And I think out of all of these, it's probably going to be the stock, so we'll just keep that there. Um, engine will max out. Exhaust. Now, uh, the real car did not have rear exhaust tips. The, the, the exhaust was kind of like cut off early right behind the mufflers, so you really couldn't see the exhaust tips and there's no option here to remove them um, or you know cut them off earlier so again same situation with the rear bumper I think your best bet is to put the cleanest looking one and that's honestly between the stock or the wide chrome tips um, honestly I'm gonna put the stock I think that will be a bit better because it looks you know it's got the round um, sort of look to it like the tailpipes so I think I think we'll do that keep it stock there uh, fenders you're gonna keep the stock these are just fender covers. Real car did not have that. Okay, so hood. Obviously, the real car had the hood removed, um, but there's no hood remove option except for the ones that have the blowers. You can see, but that that just looks ridiculous. I, I don't think it's worth doing that. Um, so honestly, save your money. I would do stock hood and then just remove the hood when you go outside. We gotta do that with the doors anyways. So might as well do the same thing with the hood. Keep it stock. Um, lights, uh, well, we don't have headlights anymore, so it <laughs> doesn't matter. Um, livery, you want to go down here to the barn find or the junkyard classic. It's up to you. Um, personally, I think the barn find is a bit closer. The, the classic one has like some black patches there. I don't know, kind of weird. Um, I think the uh, barn find is going to be the better choice, so we'll do that. Uh, mirrors, so the real car didn't have any mirrors. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because when we remove the doors, the mirrors are going to come off anyways. So if you want to change them, that's up to you. But uh, I think you're better off just leaving them stock. Save some money here as well. Uh, plate. So the real car, it had a white uh, Cuban plate. And of course, it was like the white background. So I think definitely one of the white plates is going to be your best option here. Um, now, in terms of the text, it was P016GA1. Now, obviously, Rockstar still doesn't have their website up at the time of this recording to do custom plates, so I, I can't recreate that. So what I'm going to do for all these builds until Rockstar fixes, well, puts the website for the plates, um, I'm going to put 
family playing out all the Fast and Furious builds. A little, bit of a little joke there, so we'll do that uh, for all the Fast and Furious builds. I think that's awesome. <laughs> um, respray. So obviously the car had a matte uh, finish because, you know, it was all rusted out. So, um, and, and the color was like a matte silver. Now, the the firewall was like a primer gray, so I, I, I th this will probably be the closest, but then the actual body still not the bright silver. Plus, we don't have a matte silver in here anyways. So, yeah, unless you use like modded colors and stuff, you're probably not going to be able to um, re recreate this the closest possible. Um, I think you could also go with maybe like a matte desert tan, but that's still not silver, even though it kind of looks like silver on the, on the rust, sort of. But then you look at the firewall, and it's just like, you know, this tan color. It just doesn't work. So I think the matte light gray is going to be our best route for this one. So we'll do that. As as um, secondary color, we're going to make the, uh, which is the roof, we're just going to make that match. Matte light gray. Roof accessories, um, which is the swamp coolers, you want to you know keep that stock. The car didn't have that. Suspension. Now, if we look at the real photo of the car here, you can see the back wheel, how kind of close it is to the rear fender. So I, I think um, we're gonna probably do that as best we can. I think we should probably wait till we put custom wheels, but um, I think lowered suspensions or street. I think street's probably gonna be the best. I don't want to lower it too much either because now the front's too low. It's not. It's not identical. The uh, the real car, the fender was a bit. Um, well, I guess it's more of a quarter panel. The quarter panel was a bit <laughs> lower. Uh, here it, it's a bit um, more rounded. So you really can't gauge yourself by that either. Um, I think if I'm being honest here, the car did sit pretty high. Either street or lowered. I wouldn't go any lower than that. Um, I guess we'll go with street. Transmission. Now the real car did have a turbo, so we'll put that on there. Why not? Visors. Um, you know, if you want to put one of these, but that's not part of the build, so <laughs> keep that stock. Wheels. All right, here we go. So you want to go to muscle stock, and then you want to put on the wheels called Kraka. These these are definitely the closest. Now the real wheels, they were like silver with rust, just like the car, um, and we don't we don't have you know a silver or rusty color you can put on the wheel. So I think um, a bit of like a, a happy medium you can kind of do here is to go with go all the way over here. It's gonna be the desert tan on the wheels, and uh, honestly, I think it kind of like has that silverish sort of like. Um, uh, look to it with the rust. I don't know. It, it, it looks it looks kind of like a silver wheel That's kind of changing color from aging or something from far away. I think it actually looks pretty decent I think that's gonna be our best bet because alloy is definitely out of the question alloy just looks wrong Chrome is way too bright. That doesn't work either. So I think the um, The the tan is gonna be the best bet here with desert tan. So we'll do that. Windows, the car did not have any tints, so we don't want to keep that stock there. And that's all the options. So we're not done yet. Now we got to go outside and um, pull off the panels, but almost there. It is unfortunate, though, you can't have it sitting in your garage the way it should be, but. Well, that family plate is hilarious. I love that. <laughs> Alright. Vehicle doors. You want to do. Let's do the hood first. Do you just want to get some speed? Then the hood will just fly off. Boom. Didn't even put a scratch on the car. It's perfect. And then you want to do the doors. So we'll do front and left. You can use another car or whatever you have around you to do this. Boom. Door is off. And then front right. Do the same thing. Oh, without hitting a car. Oh, the hitbox is still the front bumper. That's funny. And, oh. Boom. There we go. Nice and easy. So that's how you do it. I mean, it's pretty much done now. Look at that. That's so sick. I love it. I mean, you, you can easily tell this is this is based on the one from the Fast and Furious movie. I love it. Very, very cool. Here's first person view. That's sick. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. All right, let's floor it here. Now, this car isn't really all that fast. Um, it's more like a cruiser, but it is pretty cool to do the build with. Handling is, um, as you would expect, very uh, boat-like, if you will. <laughs> Turn 
turn, please. Oh, there it goes. Go under steer. And of course, this is in the muscle car class, so you can do wheelies with it. Pretty good wheelies, too. Not bad. That is awesome. We just need it on fire when going reverse at 100 miles an hour and all that. <laughs> the movie. Now, from from what I read, the, the car actually had like a tractor transmission or something. And theoretically, yes, it could actually go over 100 miles an hour in reverse. So it wasn't just something that was, you know, another Fast and Furious uh, unrealistic thing. It was actually possible. So, um, yeah. First person here. Let's see the details. This engine bay is super detailed, so really happy with it. It's nice it's nice to kind of show it off there with this build. The firewall there in the gray. Very cool. That is awesome. Just wish we could remove the rear bumper. I try with glitches and stuff, it won't come off. Um, same thing with the exhaust, so kind of forced to have that there. Well, usually I open doors in this section of the video, but we're missing everything so, except for the trunks. I guess we'll, we'll just open the trunk. There you go, there's the trunk. Alright, let's close that back up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the, in the comments and of course what Fast and Furious build you want to see me do next. I figured this was the perfect way to kick off the series with this car. Um, anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.